Factsverse presents The Iconic Scene That Ended Bewitched Forever Bewitched first premiered on September 17, 1964. When the show first premiered, nobody thought it would be a hit. The show ended up running, though, for eight seasons, and it continued to play on TV for years in the form of reruns. A movie adaptation was made starring Will Ferrell and Nicole Kidman, and more recently there's been talk about NBC filming a remake of the show. The original show was incredibly popular. If you were a fan of the original Bewitched, you might think you know everything about it, but there are a few hidden secrets that even the biggest fans of the show don't know. Before we get into our video, jump down to the comments and let us know if you were a fan of the TV show Bewitched, and if so, what was your favorite episode? Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. The Real Reason Dick Left the Show Everybody knows that there were two Darrens on the show. Dick York was the original Darren, but he left. The show never explained his departure, and it had nothing to do with fights on the set with producers or cast members either. When Dick was filming Cordura, he tore a muscle in his back. The injury didn't heal, and it left him in severe pain. Medication dulled the pain a bit, but it was too much and it affected his ability to act, so that resulted in him leaving the show. The Inspiration for the Show Soul Sax is the creator of Bewitched. He says he got the idea for the show after watching I Married a Witch and then Bell, Book, and Candle. The show's pilot episode mirrored those two movies, but Saul didn't have to worry about copyright issues. Columbia Pictures owned both films, and they also owned Screen Gems, the company that produced Bewitched. Samantha Never Aged Elizabeth Montgomery is stunningly beautiful. When the show first premiered in the 60s, people all over the world fell in love with her. Not only was she good-looking, but she was also funny and an amazing actress. These qualities quickly made her America's sweetheart, and as the years passed, she only got more beautiful. Some believed she had some type of anti-aging witch spell that helped to keep her beauty. Richard Crenna turned down the role of Darren. Dick York was the original Darren, but he was not the producer's first choice for the role. The actor who was first offered the role was Richard Crenna, who starred in the show The Real McCoys. When he was offered the role, he turned it down due to the commitments that he'd made to The Real McCoys. The role was then given to Dick York, but after York's back injury, it was taken over by Dick Sargent. Elizabeth Montgomery didn't only play Samantha. There seemed to be a revolving door on Bewitched for actors. During the show, Darren was replaced. After that, Gladys was replaced. Samantha was never replaced, though, because the show would never have lasted without Elizabeth Montgomery. She wasn't replaced, but she did play another role in the show. Elizabeth also played Samantha's cousin, Serena. It's hard work for both Elizabeth and the producers to have one actress playing two roles, but they pulled it off in fine fashion replaced by Dick Sargent. Dick York suffered an injury while filming Cordura, as I mentioned. While filming Bewitched, there was a doctor on the set, and while filming Season 5, Dick was in terrible pain, so the doctor gave him a B12 shot. The shot didn't help his pain, though. In fact, it caused him to have a seizure. He was transported to a nearby hospital by ambulance. That put him out of commission, and he never returned to the show. Darren was written out of the next few episodes, and then Dick Sargent was brought in to replace him. Elizabeth was pregnant in real life. During the eight seasons that Bewitched ran, Elizabeth got pregnant three times. She gave birth to her first child in July of 1964. She never had to take a break from filming for any of her pregnancies because they were written into the story. Thanks to her pregnancies, Tabitha and Adam were born, which gave the writers more storylines to work with, keeping things on set running smoothly. What happened to Tabitha? Erin Murphy was the little girl who played Tabitha on the show. When the show ended, she landed a role in the show Lassie. She also starred in several national commercials, and she started modeling. The name that she made for herself led to opportunities to audition for more prominent roles beside Jodie Foster and Helen Hunt. Erin's family decided that she should try to experience life as a typical teenager for a while, though, so the family moved to Orange County. She was still a star there, and she was the school's homecoming queen. 
Dick York as Darren Stevens. Dick York played Samantha's husband, Darren. She was a witch, he was a mortal, which made for some really great scenes. Thanks to his time on Bewitched, he made a name for himself. While filming the show, he also had a role in the classic film Inherit the Wind. The ladies loved him for his good looks and his charm. As he aged, he didn't lose his good looks and charm either. Everybody loved him. Alice Pierce had terminal cancer. Alice Pierce played Gladys on Bewitched, and then she disappeared from the show, and the audience didn't know what to think. Sadly, she left the show when she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. She went in for surgery, but the doctors told her the condition was terminal. The cast and crew had no idea that she was even sick because she kept her condition private. When she passed away, people were in shock. She was diagnosed just four months before landing the role of Gladys, but she kept it to herself. Winning an Emmy Alice Pierce played nosy neighbor Gladys Kravitz. She was sure something strange was happening in the Stevens household and often looked crazy when she reported things that nobody else noticed. Two months after Alice died from cancer, she received an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress. It was a beautiful tribute to a beloved actress. Bring Your Own Clothing According to Casey Rogers, who played Louise Tate, the supporting actors had to provide their own wardrobes. They'd bring in their costumes before filming so that the crew could make sure that they were cleaned and ironed. The main actors didn't have to provide their own wardrobes, but having the supporting cast to do so saved the show money. A Special Brooch Not only did the supporting cast have to provide their own wardrobe, they also had to provide their personal accessories. The actress who played Samantha's mother and Dora was Agnes Moorhead. She was often seen wearing a stunning 8.5 carat diamond brooch. It was her personal brooch, and she treasured it. Elizabeth often told her how much she loved it, and when Agnes died in 1974, she left it to Elizabeth Montgomery. Best Friends On the show, Darren couldn't stand his mother-in-law and Dora, and the feeling was mutual. The two were always arguing. Off-screen, the two actors who played these characters were great friends. They were actually the two closest people on set. When Dick York left the show due to medical problems, Agnes was distraught. She didn't like the fact that Dick Sargent was replacing her friend. No Darren Because Agnes and Dick York were such close friends, she was sad when he had to leave the show due to chronic back pain. When the show replaced Dick York with Dick Sargent, Agnes was so upset that several episodes were filmed without Darren in them. It took Agnes some time to accept that the show had no choice but to replace Dick. Aunt Clara's Collection On the show, Aunt Clara was obsessed with doorknobs. The writers got the inspiration for this little quirk from the actress who played Aunt Clara, Marion Lorne. Marion collected doorknobs in real life. She had over a thousand antique doorknobs in her collection. Since the supporting cast had to provide their own wardrobes and accessories, Marion used doorknobs from her collection for the show. An Accepted Family Member on the show, Darren had a problem with most of Samantha's family members because they always encouraged her to use witchcraft. Aunt Clara was different. Darren accepted her as part of the family, and she was the only member of Samantha's family that Darren got along with. Larry Tate's Son On the show, Larry and Louise Tate had a son. The actor who played Larry Tate, David White, he had one request for the show. He wanted them to name his on-screen son after his real son, Jonathan. After his wife died from pregnancy complications while having their second child, he was a single father, and he wanted to honor his son by having his on-screen son named after him. More Tragedy for David As if losing his wife wasn't enough, David experienced more tragedy in 1988. His son Jonathan boarded Pan Am Flight 103 and it exploded over Scotland. The severe losses in his life resulted in David White having a deadly heart attack in 1990. Both David and Jonathan are buried beside one another at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Black High School Students Wrote an Episode The episode entitled Sisters at Heart was written by a group of African-American high school students. They attended Marcella Saunders' class in central L.A. at Jefferson High School. It was a Christmas episode that was supposed to tell a heartwarming story. Today, the episode wouldn't be aired because most of the cast appeared in blackface for the episode. The Stagehand's Magic 
When Bewitched was filmed in the 1960s, they didn't have the kind of technology we have today, and that meant that the stagehands had to come up with a few clever ways to create Samantha's magic. For example, when she used witchcraft to clean her house, Elizabeth would hold her hands up and they would stop filming. After the stagehands cleaned the mess, they would start shooting again, and it would appear that she had just used magic to clean the room. The Theme Song The theme song from Bewitched is just an instrumental, but words were written for the theme. The writer of the song, Steve Lawrence, couldn't get the lyrics to the show in time, though, so they only had the instrumental version. The words that were written for the show remained a mystery until just a few years ago. Steve Lawrence posted the version of the song with him singing the lyrics on YouTube. From Darren's Point of View The lyrics to the theme song are from Darren's point of view. In the song, he tells the story of what it would be like for him if he had known Samantha was a witch. False Information in Elizabeth's Obituary Elizabeth Montgomery was a very private person. She didn't believe in living in the spotlight. Because of this, the information in her obituary was incorrect. The obituary read that she died when she was 57 years old, but she actually died at the age of 62. It's also said that she was single. When Elizabeth died, though, she was married to Robert Foxworth. Drunk on the set Today, if an actor shows up drunk on the set, they'd either be fired or ordered to go into rehab. Back in the 60s, things were a bit different. Most of the cast would drink during filming, and they were often filmed while they were drunk. When a character on the show was seen drinking, they probably had real alcohol in those glasses. Even the producer, William Asher, drank on set. The drinking was so excessive that there were fan websites that would calculate how many times each character drank during each episode. Today, when characters are seen drinking on a TV show or in a movie, they're drinking non-alcoholic beverages that look like the type of alcohol the character is supposed to be drinking. But on Bewitched, it was the real thing. The End Poor ratings caused the end of Bewitched. The final episode, The Truth, Nothing But The Truth, So Help Me Sam, wasn't very special. It was actually a remake of an episode from 1965 called Speak the Truth. The iconic scene that ended Bewitched forever was actually a recycled episode. Very disappointing for fans of the show. So, which side do you land on? Dick York or Dick Sargent? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more.